Hello guys, welcome to another video of the series of coding. We are going to solve the problem. It's called maximum sum path in binary tree. So we have to find the maximum uh, path sum that we can find, right? So what is a path? So a path can be something like this, for example, or a path can simply be something like this, or a path can simply be a single node also. Okay. So we have to find the maximum path sum, right? But let's say a path cannot be something like this, right? This is not an allowed path. Okay. This is not a allowed path okay this is also not a allowed path you cannot just take like random cluster right so it has to be ordered so either for example this is a path or you can take this node to this node right there is one source node there is one destination node so it's a path okay let's try to find the maximum path sum so what is our approach first of all let's list down what what all are paths right seven let's say the node seven is seven a path seven alone is a path right so seven alone can form a path okay is this a path if you are listing down all paths that are ending at seven okay or that include seven let's just list list all those paths seven plus twelve nineteen right seven plus twelve let me write seven plus twelve that is a path okay so seven plus twelve is a path Okay. What about this 7 minus 3? That is also one possible path, right? It is best or not, we'll decide later, but it is one possible path, right? So 7 minus 3 is one possible path. What about now this path? Okay, let me show that. This path. This is also an additional path that we have, which is a valid path, right? This is also a valid path. You cannot take it forward. For example, this is not valid path, but this path is valid, right? So if you have to include 7, you will have to just end it at 7, okay? If you have to take both the left and right, you can take it, but you will have to end it at 7. So this is also valid path, 7 plus 12 minus 3, that's it. We have just 4 paths, right? So these are valid paths. So what we are going to do, we are going to take any row node, include only the node, okay? Include node plus the left value, include node plus the right value or include the node plus left plus right value. That's what we are going to do, right? So that will form us all possible paths. Okay, let's quickly see what are we going to do. Okay, let's start from the uh, last path. Okay, so let us start from the last path. So in the last path, we have, um, okay, 12. So our answer is 12. Till now, we have only seen 12. So what we'll do, we'll return 12, okay? What is the maximum path that you can get from here? It's minus 3, right? Because both children are null. Null means 0, right? Null means 0. So the children are just 0. So this will return 12. This will return minus 3. Now what is 7? 7 is seeing 7 has an option to choose either 7 alone or 7 plus 12 is 19 or 7 minus 3 is 4. These are all the paths, okay, which can be taken forward, okay? These paths you can take forward, okay? So for example, you can include this path and you can go forward like this. This is a valid path, okay? But there's also one path which you cannot take forward. For example, you cannot take, you cannot include both the elements from the left and right and take it forward. If if you are including both the elements, it has to end at 7. So there is one path which is just ending at 7. What is that? 7 plus 12 minus 3. 19 minus 3, 16. Okay. Which is the maximum among these. So now, for example, maximum is 19. So we will store answer. Answer is 19. As of now, answer is 19. Now let us go forward. What will 7 return? 7 will return 19 because maximum path it is getting is 19. Okay, 7 will return 19. Now we are seeing minus 3. Minus 3 also has two options. It will take its left child. It will again get minus 3 again, right? Minus 3 plus 0 is minus 3. It will take its right child. From right child, it will take 19, right? 19 minus 3 is 16. So these are the paths that you can get. Either only node 3 or node 3 plus 0 or node 3, uh, sorry, node minus 3 plus 19. Okay, what is 19? See, 19 is simply this value, right? 19 is this value. This is a valid path, right? This is a valid path. So it can take the value 19. It's getting 19 from the left, from the right child. So it can take 19. It will get this path, okay? So minus 3 plus 19 is 16. That's what I've written here, okay? So these are the values. Now there is one more uh, case it can take, right? It can take whatever value it's getting from the left child, okay? This is also a valid path, right? It can take the value from left child and right child, but, the no, but then it has to end at minus 3 because you cannot take that forward. So there's one more you can get. Minus 3 plus 19, again in this case it will be 16. 19 plus 0 plus minus 3 will be 16. So maximum of all these is 16, but 16 is not greater than answer. So we'll let answer remain as such. Now let's quickly go forward. Now let's try to do it quickly. Now we have 1, right? So what is 1 getting? 1 is going to get, okay, 1 is going to get um, 16 from the left child, okay? And from the right child, let's see what will 1 get. So from here, you will, you will return 4. 
from here you will return 4 what will minus 6 return minus 6 uh, again as uh, what are the options minus 6 minus 6 left child is 0 so again it will be minus 6 minus 6 as right child 4 so minus 6 plus 4 what is that that is minus 2 okay these are the paths or it can take a path that will end at minus 6 so it will be minus 6 plus 0 plus 4 simply node plus left plus right so what is this this is again equal to minus 2 maximum among these is for example minus 2 okay so what we are going to do in this case it will return minus 2 it will return minus 2 so this will return minus 2 okay. now we have um, node 5 okay from the left child it will get 8 from the right child it will get minus 2 okay let us look carefully at the node 5 okay let us look at the node 5 from the left child it is getting 8 from the right child it is getting minus 2 okay so what it can take either the node 5 alone or it can take 5 plus 8 13 or it can take okay 5 plus 8 is 13 or it can take 5 minus 2 3 okay or uh, you know these are the three options that it can take and carry forward but there is one more option it can take it can take 5 plus 8 minus 2 okay so it can take 13 13 minus 2 is nothing but 11 so it can also take this but the maximum is 13 okay maximum is 13 so what we will do we will take 13 and we will return 13 okay it will return 13 it can take forward the path 13 so what it is doing basically saying i don't want to go alone i have one more strong friend who is able to increase my sum i want to include that also so i will include that and i will return 13 okay it will return 13 now what is one getting one is getting 16 from its left child one is getting 13 from its right child so what are the options one has one can take one alone or it can take one plus 16 17 one plus 13 14 these are the nodes that it can take and carry forward but there is one more thing it can do it can take one plus 16 plus 13 also right it can take all the three together 16 plus 13 is what 16 plus 13 is what uh, 29 right 29 plus 1 is 30 so it can take 30 answer will be 30 so basically your answer is going to be 30 in this case you can take which node you can take 16 and 13 so you can take the answer from the uh, right child also and you can take the answer from the left child also so basically this entire path will get connected and you will finally get this as a path this is the source this is the destination or you can consider the other way one will be source, one will be destination, but this path will give you the answer. 12 plus 7 is 19, 19 minus 3 is 16, 16 plus 1 is 17, 17 plus 5 is 22, 22 plus 8 is 13. This is the path that you will get. So now let's quickly see the code for this. So you have to basically find maximum path. So we are declaring another function to find the maximum path. And we are passing in the node A that we are receiving. And we are declaring variable answer that we are finally returning, which is our answer of the sum of the maximum path value okay so now we are taking the maximum path function so basically if uh, the root is uh, null right in that case we have to return zero you don't have any child there you don't have any sum possible otherwise you are trying to find the left whatever left child is returning the maximum value that you are storing in left whatever right child is returning the maximum value you are storing in right okay now there were two paths i was writing separately one path is a straight path right that you can always return see one path is a straight path for example okay let's consider this node this has one straight path right so so for example these are all straight paths these are all straight paths right these are all straight paths for it so it can either take the node alone or it can take uh, the value from the left child or it can take value from the right child and so on or you know it can take this curved path so this path i am calling as curved path okay so there are two paths that we are taking straight path and curved path so what is the straight path straight path so it can take the value of a alone or it can take left plus a value or it can take the right plus a value right so whichever is greatest so we will find the maximum of all the three values that are all the straight path there is one curved path also which is possible left plus right plus a value so you are including all the three values right you are forming the curved path now whichever is maximum among the straight or the curved path you are going to store that in answer and if it exceeds the previously stored answer you are going to change it okay now you can't return the curved path because you cannot have a path okay going forward with including um, see you cannot you cannot go forward like this you cannot go forward like this this is not a valid path right because see it has three nodes where will you start where will you end it's not possible so you cannot go forward with this if this path uh, is starting it has to end if you are taking all both the right and the left and the node values you cannot go forward so you cannot return that you can only return a straight path you can go forward with a straight path right you can go forward and form a path like this you cannot form a path like this, this is very important to understand here so you you cannot return you cannot simply return the maximum of straight and curved path this is where you know a lot of mistakes happen you have to just return the straight path okay so that's it now let me sum it and see if it's working 
so it's fine that's it thank you for being patient and listening